Good morning. We have not vlogged in a very long time, so this morning we're going to do a kind of a mini vlog and we're going to go scuba diving. We're going to go scuba diving in a rock quarry that's about an hour and a half away and we've never been there before, but it should be fun. I'm just, it's like seven in the morning, so I'm just grabbing some overnight oats that I prepared and we'll make our iced coffee bring our snacks and then we'll head out. So we're on our way. Um, I told you earlier that, earlier that we were going to a rock quarry and for those of you who don't know what a rock quarry is, it's basically a, I would say like an oversized deep pond, but it's made when it's a large open pit. It's, but it, it's it's made when um, people dig for like uh, material, like mineral, like uh, Miner minerals, quartz, granite, anything like that, and then it's filled up after the fact, whether naturally or someone else fills it up. I don't know, but. Either way, they're normally pretty deep. Um, the one that we're going to is, I think it goes down to 95 or 100 feet. So how they make these, this, I'm not explaining this very well. And so these quarries have been repurposed for scuba divers. And what that means is that they've, they've dropped like planes, boats, buses, cars, things like that into the quarry. And so they sit at the bottom and it's just a playground for scuba divers basically. So you can get certified for scuba diving in these quarries. It's a really popular thing to do. Um, and you can just dive for fun like we're going to do because we like to get some practice in. And we've never been to this quarry before, so we'd like to see what kind of fish are in there. We'd like to see what kind of airplanes and whatnot are in there. So that's where we're going. Um, and hopefully clarity is, is good. We've been to one quarry where the clarity is never good. And we've been to one quarry where the clarity is actually pretty decent and it's it's a pretty cool quarry um so i'm hoping that this one is better we've heard that it's better but we'll have to see
I don't know if you guys can hear us, but we're heading back. We, uh, I think I misjudged the length that we swam earlier, but we were out of air anyway, so, well, not really, 700 PSI. Time to go back. All right, we'll probably see you in the car. All right, so we did our dive, and we're back in the car on our way home. It's a long drive home. It, this quarry is down in the Charlotte area, and boy, it, there is a lot of traffic. So we're hit on some back roads right now, um, probably avoiding the highway. So it's going to take us a couple hours to get home. We we'll grabbed some Chick-fil-A because we were pretty hungry after our dive. Um, it, the clarity was a bit murkier than we expected. Well, once we got deeper, I felt like it got a lot better, but then there wasn't as much light. Yeah. It's a trade off, right? Like, yeah. It was very clear once we got deep to like 70 to 90 feet. Yeah. Um, and that was great. But yeah, it was pretty murky up top. Um, but we had a good dive. Dove until I ran out of air, so we're almost ran out of air. So. You had a reserve pressure. I had a reserve. 700 PSI level, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. And Ben dove with his rebreather, which if you don't know what that is, it's called a closed circuit. And it basically takes the air that you're breathing out, so you breathe in, and then like the air that you breathe out, it recycles it and scrubs the carbon dioxide, yeah. carbon dioxide from it, and then adds oxygen back to the air, and then he breathes it again. So it basically allows you to dive a lot longer on the same tank, and you can control the the percentage of oxygen to other gases in the tank so you can kind of control your oxygen and nitrogen saturation levels a little bit better yep. and yeah so that's that giant thing he had on the front of him and then he has a regular open circuit on the, his back um, as like a bailout in case his rebreather floods or something um, he has that as a backup so that's explaining what Ben was wearing and why he looks like a cyborg when he dies. <laughs> yes. And the little thing, the little thing over my goggles is the computer. So it's so I can see my tank pressures uh, and, and all of the mixtures of gases. So I make sure that I don't accidentally create a hypoxic gas, which would be something that I wouldn't be able to breathe. Yeah. So that's it, it keeps uh, you know, keeps that from my face, and also make sure that I don't go into um, you know, any high oxygen, high PO2 states. So I have the, the computer. It's right near my eye. It's actually called a nerd. A nerd for a nerd. Um, it's, let's, okay, I should laugh at my notes. This is brutal. Alright. Science. Science, yeah. Cool. Alright. Well, we're heading home, so that's it. We hope you enjoyed it. It's gonna be a short little vlog, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next one.